Hey everyone, it's Sam Evans here, and today I wanted to uh, make a quick video to to really give you a a powerful tip to live by, like every day. So you know, there's there's one principle that's really helped me a lot in life and in business, and that is you know, outputs derived from inputs. So outputs derived from inputs. What does that mean? Well, you know, it was Isaac Newton that said, for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction, right? And, you know, that really changed the whole way that the, the world viewed, like, reality and, and how the universe worked and everything. And they, you know, they understood that, you know, for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. So, you know, to make something move, there has to be energy applied to it. So if you want to make something move, it can't just move magically. You know, there has to be energy exerted in there to get it to move. And, you know, the energy that goes into it is proportionate to how much it moves. And so that really helped, you know, hum the, the human race really excel at a lot of things and build machines and technology and things like that. But, you know, it goes a lot deeper than that. It's not just, it's not just you know, in physics, where we're looking at energy and moving things and stuff like that, it's also in your life and in your business. And, you know, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction, but for every output, you know, you've got to look at what inputs go in. And so a lot of people, they think, they forget about the inputs and they just obsess and they fixate on the output. And I'll give you a specific example. So, you know, a lot of people, they might look at people who are in good shape and fit and healthy and all of that, and then they might think, oh, well, that person's just got good genetics, or, oh, that person's just lucky, or, oh, that person was just born like that, right? That's not how it works. You know, the people who are in good shape like that, they will be eating well, they'll be sleeping well, and they'll be exercising. And so those are the inputs to be healthy. So if you want to be healthy, it's not magic, it's just you know, good eating, good sleeping, good exercise. And it's as simple as that. And then when it comes to business, a lot of people think, oh, that guy, he just got the money from his parents, or, oh, that guy was just lucky, or, oh, that guy just fluked it, or that business just was the perfect timing, or something like that. But that's not true either. You know, I don't know any single person on earth that is wealthy and has a successful business that hasn't put in an insane amount of effort and hard work. And so, you know, if you want to make a lot of money, then there has to be an input and a huge amount of effort. You know, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So if you want to be really successful, you've got to put in a huge amount of work. And there is really no magic to it. Like, it's, there's no instance where someone puts in no effort and gets out a huge amount of, you know, reward. And so, you know, it's this thing, it exists everywhere. It's one of these universal principles that you can use to guide you in life and everything. And, you know, it really runs deep because recently I was watching a, like a, a TV series called Chef's Table. And they interview like the most successful chefs around the world. And they ask them like, you know, what's the secret to having, to being one of the best chefs ever, right? And I was like, oh, maybe these guys have some sort of magic. You know, I, I, even, I even started thinking like this. And then all of them are like, the secret to really good food is really good ingredients. So we pretty much spend our entire lives just hunting for the best ingredients. And some of the best chefs in the world take this to the extreme of starting their own farms so that they can ensure that they get the best ingredients. And then when they go to the farms, they have to make sure they've got the best soil. And then they've got to make sure they've got the best grain and all of this stuff. And so it keeps going back. You know, how do you have the best farm? Well, you've got to have the best soil. How do you have the best soil? Well, you've got to have, I don't know, the, the best next thing. And you've got to keep tracing these cause-effect relationships upstream. You've got to really go upstream and find out the different components that lead to, you know, the later components. And if you really get good at seeing things this way and tracing things upstream and figuring out what are the causes for this, what are the causes for this, then you can really start to pick apart anything and you know you can really understand what it takes to to build these things that seem impressive so you know when it comes to having a successful business and a, and and all of that i want to give you a few tips that can really you know a few tips to focus on that are powerful inputs that generate powerful outputs now the first one is what you spend your time doing day to day when you're working so here on my screen i've got my warm app calendar. Now, my warm app calendar is basically 
a calendar I use to map out my year and then my quarter and then my month and then my weeks and then my days. And I'm constantly, every day, multiple times per day, looking at this war map and mapping everything out. You know, I wanna make sure that every day I'm at work, I'm implementing the most powerful things possible. I don't wanna get lost on social media. I don't wanna get lost on YouTube. You know, most people, they think they're working, but really they're just sitting at a desk and they're not working. And so the war map calendar is one of my tricks to make sure that the inputs going into my business are powerful and I'm focusing on the right thing. And so I'm gonna link beneath this video to the war map calendar so you can go check it out and use it for yourself. And another one, you know, another input which is very powerful is, you know, food. So like, what food do you have going into you? Because if you're low on energy, then chances are that you're not eating properly and that's why, you know, in, in, in order for your body to exert energy, it's gotta have good fuel in it. You know, if you, fill a, if you fill a car up with water, it's not gonna start. And so you wanna make sure you got good food. And so, you know, one thing I focused on this year and last year was having a chef and really making sure that we've got good food and all of that. And also not drinking uh, fizzy drink and, and sodas and stuff like that. So you wanna make sure that you have good food going in and you wanna make sure that you're planning out your day and your month and putting time into the right things. Now I'm gonna give you some more. So now we're gonna talk about inputs into your brain. So here you can see one of my bookshelves, another one here. I think we've got about a thousand books in here now. And so another one you wanna look at is, you know, your brain. So what, inputs are going into your brain in terms of information because you know if you want to know why someone is is smart or why someone knows how to do something that you don't they weren't born with it and they weren't like gifted or anything like that those are all myths the reason why is because they've just got good ingredients just like the chefs they're not just magically the best chefs in the world they focus on getting the best ingredients and so people who are smart and people who know how to do things that you don't and people who you know, seem, to always, seem to always have the answers to things, really they don't. And really they're just, they've just filled their heads with good information. Instead of watching Game of Thrones, instead of watching the news, and instead of you know, on being on social media and looking at all of that crap, you know, pe successful people are filling their brains with good inputs. And, you know, really good inputs are books. There really is, you know, nothing more powerful than reading good books. And that's why there's a quote that says, readers are leaders. And, you know, it's very true. So I highly recommend filling your head with good information. And also, instead of watching movies, like, I recommend watching documentaries. Like, watch documentaries on you know, the revolutionary leaders, watch documentaries about history and how the world came to be the way it is because then you're filling your head with useful information that you can later use. You know, you always wanna be thinking what inputs are going in because the inputs that are going in are gonna create the outputs that come out. So instead of focusing on, oh, how can I be rich or how can I, you know, buy a new car or how can I make 100 grand? Focus on, well, how can I get good sleep? How can I eat well? How can I do some exercise? And how can I read good books? And then how can I be productive and put in good work each day? Because if you focus on the inputs, the outputs just happen. And, but if you focus on the outputs, then nothing happens. And you know, there's a saying that's garbage in, garbage out. And what it, it's, a, it's a popular saying in the development world and in the coding software world. And what it basically means is it doesn't matter how good the system is. If you put garbage into a system, garbage is gonna come out of the system. And so, you know, it doesn't matter how talented you are, it doesn't matter how gifted you are or anything like that. If you put bad inputs into you, bad, bad outputs are gonna come out. And this happens everywhere from what, how you spend your time each day, what books you read, what movies you watch, and you know, how you spend your time, what food you put into you, and you know, really who you hang out with too. You know, your friends and the people around you, their inputs too. Their influences on you and how you're gonna evolve. And so you wanna be very careful about all of these things that you come into contact with. You wanna be careful with the information you read, 
the movies you watch, the music you listen to, the people you're around, uh, you know, how you spend your time, because all of these things massively influence who you are. You know, you are pretty much what you consume. And so if you're constantly hanging out with people that are talking about negative, useless stuff, and if you're constantly watching negative movies and Netflix and stuff, I mean, you know what's gonna come out. Garbage, nothing, nothing special. And so really, if you want to do well in life and if you want to do well in business and everything, always think, you know, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction and garbage in, garbage out. So you wanna constantly be thinking, how can I make sure that I'm focusing on the right inputs to generate the outputs? And when you do that, everything will change and shift for you. So that's it for this video. I just wanted to do, to do a quick one today and I wanted to just give you a quick tip that I'm sure will help you throughout business and life. Thanks.